Okay, in this video we are going to be finding the equation of a plane that is through a given point and perpendicular to two other given planes. So let's take a look at the problem. So we want to find the equation of a plane through the point 3, negative 2, 1 that is perpendicular to, so the first plane is going to be 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals 4, and then the second plane that it's perpendicular to is going to be negative 3x plus y plus 4z equals 2. So I prefer to think of um, problems like this uh, in terms of the room that I'm in. So in that case, this would be one of the walls. This would be a second wall. And then the problem is essentially asking me to find the equation of the floor. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I'm gonna kind of draw it a little bit. You don't really need to draw it, but I think it's a good idea. So there's gonna be my first plane. There's gonna be the second plane. So those are the two walls. And then I'm looking for this, which is the floor. So what I want to do is I want to work out just like the concept here. So I know that for the first plane, 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals 4, it has a normal vector of 2, 3, negative 2. So I could put that perpendicular to that wall anywhere. I'm going to choose to put it right on the floor. So perpendicular to the green wall, but right on the floor. So that's going to be that normal vector. And then uh, the second wall negative three, well, the second plane, uh, negative three x plus y plus four z has a normal vector of negative three, one, four. I could put that anywhere on that wall as long as it's perpendicular to it. I'm gonna choose to put it on the floor. So I'm gonna put it there. And now what I know is if I take those two vectors because they're both on the floor, if I cross product those vectors, it'll give me a vector normal to the floor, which is kind of the key to solving the problem. So once you've worked that out, it becomes much more um, manipulating symbols and numbers. So my first normal vector is 2, 3, negative 2. My second normal vector is negative 3, 1, 4. And I'm going to cross these vectors. So I want n1 crossed n2. So I'm going to set this up. I use a 3 by 3 determinant where the first row is ijk, the unit vectors. And then the second row is just going to be n1, so 2, 3, negative 2. And third row is negative 3, 1, 4. So to do a cross product, so it's going to be i, and then uh, cross out the row in the column, so I get 12 minus negative 2, so 12 plus 2. Then minus j, so that's the biggest mistake I see people make with cross products, so it's minus j. Cross out the row in the column, so that's going to be 8 minus 6. And then plus k, cross out the row and column that contain k, and it's going to be 2 plus 6. Oh, sorry, 2 plus 9, because 3 times 3. Um, so we have this. And if I simplify it, so I'm going to write it in component form. So I get 14, negative 2, and 11. And that's going to be the normal vector to the floor. So the normal vector to the plane that I'm looking for. The next thing I need is a point in the plane, but that was given in the problem. So I'm just going to add it to my picture at that kind of corner there. So that point 3, negative 2, 1 is on the floor of this room that I'm picturing. Um, so I know the normal vector and I know a point. So now I can just substitute into any number of formulas that I know for planes. So I like to use, uh, I think it's called point normal form. So I know a point and I know the normal vector. It's really like point slope form. Uh, so let's start substituting. So we have 14, the quantity x minus 3, minus 2, times the quantity y minus negative 2, and then plus 11 times the quantity z minus 1 equals 0. Um, and then since the planes in the problem are given in kind of expanded form, I'm going to do the same to this. So I'm just going to go through, multiply it out, and then move the constant over. So I get 14x minus 2y plus 11z equals 57. That's the equation of the plane through the point perpendicular to both of the given planes. I think it's really useful to think of it in terms of a room because you can physically imagine that. Um, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.